Hello everyone, got a video here on how to troubleshoot a Dynaglow Deluxe Professional Grade 50,000 BTU Salamander and the issue with it is it started making a noise and it sounded like the motor was going bad and it tries to kick on but it shuts right back off like it's not getting no fuel but we'll go through a couple things to check and that you can do on them to try to fix them yourself. And here it is. I'll go ahead and turn it on and show you what it does. And that's what it does and there's a little red light here on the side I don't know if you can see it blinking right there a little bit I'll try to turn it around so you can see it better but the lights blinking there and it's not kicking on and throwing heat out so what we want to do first make sure we got it shut off and there's screws along the side on this one. There's four on each side. So there's a total of eight. You'll want to undo those. And those are like an eight millimeter. Or you can use a Phillips. But an eight millimeter and a little quarter inch ratchet works really good. Or if you got a little impact, you could use that. Once you get that off, this here back piece just comes up out of it. And I will try to get a better shot here. But you got this up here and the fuel comes through. And there's orifice in the front of this. And that's where your fuel goes through. And there's a photo cell. And those don't usually go bad that often. But you want to make sure they're clean. And there's a little limit switch which is down underneath where the fuel goes through. And you have the igniter that's right here that sparks to make the fuel ignite. But the issue of it was on the back side here, I already had it apart. And these are eight millimeters also, and there's four in this, two over here and two right there. You'll want to take those out. And this here has a little filter on both sides. One of them's for the air to go in. And the other one's for it to kind of blow back out through. And this here part has a total of six bolts in it. Three on this side, three over on this side. and take those out of there and on the back you have this hair line which is part of the fuel system and without this hair part it won't burn when i took this apart i'll show you what i found in it I found all these little pieces broke up and this should be one solid thing but all that was in here just broke up and it wasn't doing anything I'll show you what a good one looks like and these here you can get off of Amazon and I'll put a link down below for this here certain one Here's what a good one looks like. I'll try to get a closer shot there. 
and they have these little pieces that come out as it spins so you want to make sure you get those back in there right and also make sure the inside of this is clean before you put it back together and kind of fill it make sure there's no grooves in it that way you don't put a new one in it and it ruins it I would recommend it take an air hose and blow it out and also on the back of this blow it off and do the front side also now we'll take us here new one and stick in Let's see here you gotta make sure you get get them lined up just right because this is grooved not grooved but it's kind of flat on each side that just kind of slides over and it kind of snaps on and you'll want to stick these hair back in it And once you start putting these in, you can just go ahead and turn it to the next one. And after you get those in, make sure your wires are back out of the way so you don't pinch them. Now to get this started back on. Once you get a couple of bolts in it, the others will kind of line up. If you're not for sure that you're going to remember how to do these, put it back together, take pictures as you're taking it apart. That way you can reference back to it on where they went and how they went on. When you're Tightening these up, I would recommend going back and forth and <clears throat> crosswise on them. Less chance of breaking this, because if you break that, and it's going to cost you a lot more money to I would recommend too if you haven't done many of these and you're using an impact to go back and make sure with a ratchet that it's kind of snugged up good. And now to put this back on make sure you got these filters and there's a little gasket on this side make sure you got them back in the right spots. Go ahead and get the bottom one started or whichever one you're doing first.
And the same thing on this. Do a cross pattern as you're doing it. And when I do them, I barely snug them up any at first until I get them all tightened down just a hair. And go back and tighten them up all the way. And after you get that done, I would recommend just set the top back on it. But you don't have to bolt it down at this point. I would then try turning it on, make sure it's going to burn. And for some reason, it did not go. Try to get there. Now we'll set this back on and try it again. Now it's working good. We can go ahead and reassemble it the rest of the way. This here just goes on the back and it kind of sets down on there. If I had it in the right direction anyway. After I get a couple of them started, I'll snug them down a little, just to help hold this in place. And there was a total of eight of these. Yours might not be the same if it's a different model. But they should all pretty much be about the same. Some of them have a little circuit board in them too and those can go bad And that's all there is to changing the little rotor part in the back of your salamander. And a lot of times if they're getting fuel and it just up and stops, good chance it's that part back here. But it can be 
the other items so you just got to kind of troubleshoot it I'll make more videos in the future as I get these and do repairs on them I don't get them very often but they're pretty basic and simple to work on they're not that hard so don't forget to like my videos comment subscribe to my channel hit the notification button and have a great day everybody bye